Are you tired of constantly reconfiguring your MFD during missions? In this video, I'll be covering the importance of setting up your MFD master modes in Falcon BMS 4.38, also how to do it. Having MFD master modes can significantly streamline your missions by providing pre-configured screens based on your current mode, ultimately saving you time. I'll show you how to set this up by using both Weapon to Delivery Planner and the BMS user interface. During this video, I'll also showcase my personal configurations along with the reasonings behind my choices. If you're new here, I create videos focused on Falcon BMS and DCS. Also, I have other aviation-related content on the channel. If this sounds interesting, then this channel is probably for you. Let's get on with the video. So in Falcon BMS, there are two ways to set up your MFD Master Mode Setup presets. One is through the Weapon Delivery Planner, and two is the default Falcon BMS user interface. Weapon Delivery Planner is a third-party software that can be used with Falcon BMS. It also has your knee boards and could set up your DTC the way you want it when it comes to countermeasures. And of course, what we're talking about today is the MFD Master Modes. The Weapon Delivery Planner is easy to find. Just search Weapon Delivery Planner and it should come up. Click on this first link and WDP Weapon Delivery Planner. Click on that. Find it right here, Weapon Delivery Planner. It'll give you a zip file. Once you have that zip file, go ahead and place that into your tools. Place that into tools and I usually make its own folder in there so I know where it is. Once you have that installed, go ahead and press Weapon Delivery Planner EXE. You could right click, create a shortcut and put whatever you want so you can actually use it without having to go to this specific folder. There are plenty of videos how to use Weapon Delivery Planner. I won't go over how to use it, but I will go over how to specifically set up your MFD screens. So once you're in, all this is from your mission, but if you want to go to your DCC, press DTC here and you can open your call sign file. So you press open and it goes to your 4.38 user config and choose your INI file, which is your DTC or configuration setting for Falcon BMS. Once you have that open, you're able to now edit your call sign and it'll use that on every mission. So here, go ahead and go to MFD and right here it has all the MFD settings. On the left here is MFD1, and this is the number of slots at the bottom of the MFD, first slot, second slot, third slot. Right here is air to ground mode, air to air mode, nav mode, and so on. MFD2 is the right side with the same as the three slots at the bottom of the MFD. This check mark means when you go into this mode, it'll primarily be on the FCR. If you put the check to the weapon, it'll be primarily on the weapon. You'll have to change it back and forth. But this check mark means it'll initially be on this page on the left or the right MFD. So these are my settings for my personal preference. I will explain why I chose these, but you could set up this however you want. So in air to ground first, I have MFD1, the left side, I have FCR and weapon. So in air to ground, you need the FCR and weapon is used for either the harm or the Maverick that has its own seeker. So I want that to be an option. I don't want to have to go through the menu to choose it. So in air to ground, it'll all automatically be on my left side. I want to separate this from the TGP with the FCR. So you're searching around with the radar, and then you're also looking with the TGP on a, certain sc on a separate screen. You don't want them both on the same screen. Also, I have the HSD, the horizontal situation display, which is like your map, so you always want that. And then the SMS, your store ma management system, for all of your weapons that you could see and turn on the weapons that you need to use during that mission. Moving on to air to air, of course I want the FCR and I don't have anything on the left side. On the right MFD, I have the HSD again. I have the TGP for identifying and tracking other air targets. And also I have the SMS for manipulating my weapons and configuring them, configuring them appropriately. In the nav mode, not doing too much in nav, but it's basically the same as air, air to air. The option is always there. So nav, I have the FCR for situation awareness and using my radar. And then on the right side, I have the HSD again, TGP, and then the SMS as well. So I know what weapons are on my aircraft. So the missile override mode is a mode where it places you in a position to shoot off a missile. So in this, I need the FCR. So I'm going to use my radar. On the right side, I have the HSD for my map, TGP for identification, and my SMS for knowing what weapons I have. And the SMS could be used for any troubleshooting just in case you have a malfunction. You can actually see it say a malfunction on the SMS screen. Dogfight override is when you're in close quarter combat, so there's no need for a TGP, so I remove that, but you still need your FCR. So on the right side, I still have the HSD for my situation display, and then your SMS for any other 
weapons that you may want to use, but usually it kicks it right into the AIM 9s, so you should be good on the right side setup for the MFD. So SJ is Selective Jettison of the Stores, so this is a certain master mode, so if, I want, if I'm in that master mode, I want to know that I'm in the master mode, so my left screen will be blank. And my right screen will be SMS, so I could choose exactly which one I want to jettison from my aircraft. Again, all of these are my preference. You can use it however you want. Then after you do all your changes, go ahead and press Save DTC, and it will save it inside of your jet in Falcon BMS. So the second way to edit your MFD master mode setup for your screens is inside of the BMS UI. You can either go to Campaign, or you can go to Tactical Engagement. Click on Tactical Engagement. You have to open up one of these, doesn't matter which one is which, but you have to open up one of them. I'm going to choose this one, a, a mission that I created. I'm going to go press commit. I'm going to go halt on the time here and make sure you choose an F-16. So there's an F-16 there and then go to your data cartridge and it'll bring up the screen everyone's familiar with and you go to MFDs. This one is a little bit more difficult, but it has the same attributes as the weapon delivery planner. So here at the drop down for your air to ground master mode, air to air master mode, and different master modes. So that's self explanatory. Air to ground MFD1, like I said, is the left screen. MFD2 is the right screen. There are no three or four. So in this case, I will be editing the left screen on the air to air master mode. So here's the primary, which is the, the far left. So going from left to right, primary will be the left, secondary will be the middle, and tertiary will be the third. Current is which one it'll initially be on when you go into that mode. So right now, the current will be primary, so it'll primarily and initially go on the FCR. And right here, you just choose whatever you want in there, and that's how you do that. And you can move to the, le the right screen. You do the same thing, HSD for the left selection. And the current is secondary, so the middle, it'll be the TGP for my air-to-ground master mode. Always make sure your display bullseye is, is selected or else you may or may not have bullseye available in the jet once you get in. You'll have to manually do it on the DED. So I'd recommend making sure that that box is green. After you make all of your adjustments, go ahead and press save and it should be good to go. You don't have to mess with it ever again. So now you are equipped with the ability to set up your MFD master modes and not have to waste time to do it manually every single time. So here we are in the pit going to go over what it looks like visually in the cockpit. So this is MFD1, your left screen, and this is MFD2, your right screen. So the three slots I was talking about earlier is at the bottom here. So you got your FCR, this blank slot, you could choose whatever you want, and you got this slot as well if you can choose whatever you want in there. So these are the three slots down here. On the right side, I got HSD, TGP, and SMS. Right now, I am in nav mode, so I need the FCR, need the HSD for situation awareness, my situation display, the TGP for any identifications I need. I could always just put it in the, in the air to air mode or air to ground mode if needed. And then my SMS for my weapons and to see what I have on the aircraft. I'm gonna click it into missile override mode. So there's missile override, left did not change, right side didn't really change as well, but I have my TGP in there. Got the air to air for air to air missile mode and then SMS for the same thing and now as you can see it's now a different page when it comes to the SMS in nav mode it's this page and missile override it is this page I'm gonna get out of missile override mode back to nav I'll go to air to ground so now I have the FCR the ground FCR on the left side also I have my weapon which is for the Maverick or the harm right now it is not on so I will power on my harm so I'll go ahead and press the OSB button here switch to my other weapon and go ahead and press it on there and now I will go back to my harm so I can show you what it looks like. This is the weapon on the harm. I will not go over harms. I'll be showing what it looks like. But this is the weapon page on the harm. I can switch back and forth between my FCR and my weapon page for the harm. So with my harm being active, I will switch over to the Mavericks. And I'll switch it to the screen where the, it has the Maverick Seeker. If you have, depending if you have a TV or infrared, it'll bring up the Seeker here. And you can manipulate it just like the TGP. Speaking of the TGP, it is good to separate these two. I have the weapon for the Maverick, so the TGP or the Maverick Seeker on this side. And on the right side, I have my TGP so I can view that as well while I'm viewing the Maverick Seeker. And that is pretty much the MFDs in a nutshell. I hope you better understand MFD master mode setup. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.